see. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. Being located in the Music City, this building has hosted a lot of great music acts since its inception. But this is what she was made for, NFL football, and that's what we have today in Nashville at Nissan Stadium. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the San Francisco 49ers and the Tennessee Titans. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. At their own 28-yard line. Throwing here on first down. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Bryant. And the return this time will go out to the 42 yard line. First carry for Derrick Henry. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. A good run. Got seven on first. Here's second and three. Out of the gun. Tannehill. Got his man. That's the pro builder, Julio Jones. And he will score. Titans have taken a first quarter lead. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. And this is good. Our score is 7 0 Tennessee. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. one away and this carries into the end zone and he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee maybe a yard shy of there at the 24 back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive not to start that they were hoping for the interception on the first play of the game it leads to six points the other way how do you rebound from here yeah, a little bit of humor Gotta laugh that one off and not the ha ha. That was very funny, but kind of like, can you believe that just happened? Let's go out and play now. Let's just start over. Now, a loose football. The ball comes out. It's picked up by the Titans. They're gonna be having to give me a game. Bring this one back. On the return touchdown for the Titans. So the defense forces the fumble. They get the score. And a guy on defense becoming offensive there, Charles. And you know they love that. Any guy on defense. And oh, it's blocked. Picked up by the offense. This is a live ball. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And that last possession, really a gut punch. You seemingly had it working. You were in the midst of a very strong drive. Then suddenly the fumble. And you're watching the back of a defender's jersey as he brings it all the way in the other direction. There's not much more I can add to that. I thought you summarized it perfectly, partner. You've just got to regroup and start putting another drive together. That's all you can do. So you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message 
is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offense coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instinct. Being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. But able to haul it in is Kittle. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 18 yards, first down Niners. That was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. And he's got some space here. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams would just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Now back to throw. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Red and red, and it's picked. And the return goes out to his own 17-yard line. Second interception for him now here in this first half. And you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question. Because the guy who just beat him is a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that's, that's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but if the other team doesn't get it, that's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Back to the air, Tannehill on second down. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A first down there, and a pick up the 25. Thirteen nothing is the score after one on EA Sports. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and ten at the 46. Again, Tannehill. Pressure and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Nick Bosa picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Tell you what, he did not have much time there to scan the field before he was ducking and covering. Did it appear to you, as it did to me, that the defensive front won their play really quickly? Yeah. Meaning the guys in front of them had almost no chance to block them. They were on him in a hurry. He's going deep for Brown. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. And the ball is knocked out. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about, getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Nick Bosa able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. After the sack on first down, Tannehill got some real estate inside the 30. That's complete to his tight end, Ferkser. 
That one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. And we were down in the field watching Henry warm up before the game. He's a big man. No wonder he breaks those tackles. And you remember what I told you when we were watching? It's not all pads. When you get him out of pads and just see him in a regular suit or an outfit, he is a huge human being and a lot faster than what people know. When he gets rolling, he's a lot to bring down. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. Good strong throw and catch right there, and so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Oh, he coughs up the football near his own goal line, and I think they are going to get this one back. Well, that would have been something, double turnovers, but instead they'll keep the possession on the INT. Hey, I'm all about defense forcing plays and, and, and getting takeaways. But an interception and two fumbles in their last three offensive possessions. Time to readjust. <laughs> yeah, they, you, you can't just give all the credit to the defense on that. They've got to look in the mirror and take them. And this is going to be intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. 20. And it's a huge return as he brings this all the way back down to the 15-yard line. <laughs> So his struggle is just continuing here in the first half, throwing the football, Charles. Now three interceptions. And they don't feel like they're just great plays by the defense. There's a sense that maybe he's a little careless with the football now. So some of the great coaches in the past, you know, they've always said, they can't teach you, obviously, because you're not listening. So maybe the bench can teach you. He's got to be careful now. He might get pulled. I remember watching Derrick Henry come out of Alabama and sitting with some scouts, and one of the debate points with him was, was, while at Bama, how often did he have to deal with contact near the line of scrimmage? They were so good up front that he often got to the second level pretty easily. I think he's starting to answer those questions with runs like that. He's a physical, physical guy. Not a whole lot there after the penalty, but remember, it was first and five, not first and ten. So now they can keep grinding out first downs and good things can happen for them. Just second and short coming up. Now it's Tannehill off the bootleg. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Anthony Furtzer there to make the grab. And the Titans are going to add on to their lead. Extra point attempt here still to come. He missed one earlier, remember, but this time he gets it to go. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it ends with a Tennessee score. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Takes this about five yards deep. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play <laughs> guy a question. Hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Thus far, it hasn't been a real fun half for them, but a play like that, that may get them off the schneid a little bit. 
get them loosened up and moving. Kind of seems like they've been sleepwalking and still sitting on zero points. And it's not always making an adjustment. Sometimes it's just going back to what you know can work and finally getting it done. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. And right back to Kittle. This time he's got it. And he's going to have the first down as they move into field goal range here at the 25-yard line. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Back to throw again. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked by Kevin Byer. Well, you just kind of feel for him right now. Four interceptions, and you can almost see through his face mask. There's a lot going on in between the ears. There certainly is, and probably way too much, because now he's probably doubting himself a little bit, wondering what adjustments he has to make. But here's what he needs to do. Get through this game, go to the press conference, meet it head on, and show your teammates you're ready to shoulder what happened today and you'll be ready for the next game. And if he can do that as a rookie, that's a great sign of maturity. After the interception, here's Tannehill. He's going to fire one deep left sideline. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. But no kneeling for them. They decided they weren't going to run out the clock. They decided to take their shot downfield, hoping to either make a connection or a pass interference call. They wanted more points to put on the board. Play action. It's Tannehill. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. First and down at the 28 yard line. The final shot here before the break, Tannehill. He'll have a first down, and I think the ball's out. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. But they will not be able to capitalize as time has run out here on the first half of play. You want the third quarter already? No problem. Let's do it. Robbie Gold, kicking off for San Francisco. The Titans hold the lead, and they'll get the football first as the third quarter gets underway. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Titans' offense set to begin the drive. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about what the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address. And there's so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Now left side on the swing pass. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. The first down screen pass, good for five. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Throwing again on second down, Tannehill. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit, and it forced an incompletion. Looking deep for Julio. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Jason Barrett. And not much on the return there. He'll take it only up to the nine-yard line. Now they needed a break. They needed to make a play here in the third quarter. Defensively, they did that. Now they got to go quickly and get some points on the board. And the best part is that they made their own break. Taking the ball away. Now they just look at their offense and say, guys, let's go. Come on, capitalize on this one. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. There to knock that one away was the safety, Imani Hooker. Well, we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. 
it just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel... And my goodness, now Brown, oh, he lost the football. And I think they are going to get this one back. Well, that would have been something, double turnovers. But instead, they'll keep the possession on the INT. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. So the turnover forced and a wonderful job on a big return. And how about the convoy that got created? Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. Three touchdown passes now for Ryan Tannehill, and the Titans capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Well, that didn't take long. The turnover instantly almost turning into points. And when that happens, a lot of teams have the mentality of let's strike right now. You've got it off balance after the turnover or the takeaway. Let's go get it. And that's exactly what they did. You know? Can you believe it? He misses another one, his third so far. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Now this will make it into the end zone, and it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. And the Titans defense, they get ready, they take the field again. They got a little steam following the interception the last time they were out there, Charles. And they wanted to keep that going now because once you get one, he wanted to multiply and turn into a bunch more. And right now, they're putting up their version of a no-fly zone. No-fly zone. I like that. Did we, did we had a flyover before the game. Yeah, but, but this time, they would intercept it. <laughs> a nice gain of 21 yards. play fake he'll look to throw that's going to be caught by Samuel and he's going to have another first down as the tackles made at the Titans 27 yard line a very solid gain of 27 a great job pulling that one in from a guy as we know who can really blaze he's got a lot of speed and that speed can work for him so many different ways sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath but still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. That is caught inside the five. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Brandon Ayuk, 27 yards. And the 49ers get a score closer. Coaches must really like to see that from the quarterback because he's had the interceptions in this game, but they're able to connect on the touchdown pass. And teammates... Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And he gets into the end zone. We'll give him credit. They're not going to take this deficit lying down. They get too closer here on the fake extra point. All right, partner, one more time. Our whole lives, you put the ball on the three-yard line, kick the extra point. 2015, they put it on the 15 to kick the extra point. 2016, they said, we're leaving it there. So if you want to fake it, that's a long way to go. And they got it done. I was going to say, they had a 15-yard play in their back. Now a hit and a loose football. Do what we do. And do what we do. score. It's a 49er touchdown. Kyle Juszczyk taking it in. And the 49ers make some inroads here on that deficit. I'm glad we were paying attention during the rules seminar because we learned the only time you can't advance a fumble like that is in the last two minutes of either half. Right. Other than that, if that ball's out, whether forward or backwards, it's live and free for anybody. No doubt about it. When you say free, that means he's got free reign to pick it up and go. That's exactly what happened there. Took it in for a touchdown. The PAT up and good, but hold on a second. There is a flag. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. 
An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. And he doesn't even get this to the 10. He's taken down at the 9. That might be it right there. I think that's a level one. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. They had that first half lead, but they have been shut down here in this third quarter, so time to retool a bit. And probably need to tap into that emotional vein that gets them back to really playing hard and effectively. Because a lot of times we think it's just play call. And he's going to go down right near the goal line. The officials look at each other. They're going to mark him at the one-yard line. As I was watching the play unfold, my eyes immediately went to the referee because I wanted to see, was he going to put those two hands over his head and that <laughs> universal signal for a safety? But it's at the one-yard line. You know you're playing with fire when you get sacked that close to the goal line. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. And they're going to get this all the way out past the 20. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. They were backed up to start the drive, but how about that aggressiveness? Firing it downfield right away. Nice job there getting out towards what would have been their normal starting position. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by the safety, Jark Whiskey Tart. This defense figured out something in the locker room. That's two third quarter picks now. And you just wonder, did he get too comfortable in the locker room himself? His team has the lead. Take care of the football. He's putting him in jeopardy right now. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Debo Samuel was the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. On play action, they'll throw. Is taking him one handed. What a catch. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big pickup of 38. Still all sorts of time left in this game, and you'd like to be able to say, take it one play at a time. But the truth is, they're probably going to have to hit on a few big plays in the passing game to close this gap, and that's a good start right there. And now here is another interception. Picked off at the 28. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off, and it proved fruitful. They get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage, and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? Too many defenders out there, exactly as you described, an interception. And that's the big fella's MO right there, running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense... If you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. And three yards there takes him to the 45. He was brought down at the 45-yard line. That's a gain of three. 
So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. Accelerating, and off he goes. Touchdown, Titans. Derrick Henry. 55 yards, and the Titans are able to extend their lead. Well, Derrick Henry, the league's leading rusher in 2019. You wouldn't think a man that big could motor like that, but he can all right, and he proved it right there. And how about the situation that we're in right now because this is the fourth quarter, so you know there's some tired legs out there on defense and probably some tired minds as well trying to chase guys around for four quarters. But this is where conditioning, athleticism, that separates the good backs from the great backs, and that was an A-plus effort right there. And he covered a lot of ground on that one, as evidenced by the final total there on Next Gen Stats. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Take over first and 10. The 49ers ready to set up shop again offensively. And in enemy territory last time through the interception. We'll see what they do on this drive. I can't wait to see how it alters what they decide to do. And my goodness, another interception. Picked by Kevin Byer. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Yes, folks, that is his third interception, and I'm going to use one of the most overused phrases in football. He's a ball-hawking safety. I love the way that you called for the shot there. That's perfect, though, because there is something to that, being a safety off of the... And this is taken in at the five. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long. And I would say that going along with that, they've been confident. Because even if that... They... And he gets in. Touchdown, Tennessee. Derrick Henry with now two fourth quarter touchdowns. And the interception by the Titans D leads to a touchdown. And he certainly played a pivotal role those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This taken in about four yards deep. This one out. It's a touchback. This field general once more leading his offense back onto the field. And that interception that ended their previous drive likely also ended any shot they had a victory. Yeah, long road back from here, no doubt about that one. But let's face it, if you're going to go out there and compete, you want to try and end on a strong note, don't you? Absolutely. It won't end in a victory. Like and he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. George Kittle, 75 yards. And the 49ers get a score closer. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards to just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. They'll look to throw. He's got it. So they convert the two. That keeps their slim hopes alive as we're back to a two-score game. Well, it's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure, but that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready, because you may need multiples to throw out a ball game. There's a great example right there. Robbie Gold to kick off for San Francisco. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. 
Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And no return here for Evans as they will bring this out to the 25. Derrick Henry and the rest of the Titans offense about ready to roll again. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. He's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see him back. Just got to have a grin on his face every time his number is called. Because he doesn't feel like there's going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. Brings up second and seven. On second and seven, Tannehill. Man open left side is Brown. The 20. Give me some. 10. Touchdown, Titans. Come on, Make that night four touchdown passes for Ryan Tannehill. And the Titans find a way to stretch their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning? Right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? And this part of the game's been an adventure thus far, but this one is good. That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the last time. I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it. They need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? He was trying to get it to George Kittle. It's tight end. And it's second down. Second and ten. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 45-yard line. His big day receiving just keeps getting bigger. He's over 200 yards now in the afternoon. To throw now on first down. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball. And now here is another interception. Picked by Kevin Byard. And a... Big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Offense about set and ready to go. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. And a 
pretty little juke move there on a nice game. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads. Bowled over a few people. Look at that one. Right up the gut. Soft through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. A gain of five. Good enough for the first down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes. And now he lost the football. Tannehill loses it. Dangerous spot for them to cough it up. Lucky to have recovered because had the defense gotten it, they were already within a shadow of the goalpost. Yeah, and then you're yelling at your own defense. Sudden change, sudden change. That's not what you want to hear on your sideline. That means you've got to run out there and try and stop an offense who has the ball in a very advantageous position. Throwing on second and long. Tannehill looking downfield for Jones. And got his man complete. And they finally get him down, but not before he reaches the 34. A big play that time for the Titans. 57 yards. Well, he's been doing this for a lot of years, with the arm strength still there, and he showed it off on that one. Now a play fake, and it's Tannehill. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Different story this time around. We had that huge gain followed by a sizable loss here. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Off play action, Tannehill. It's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. The Pro Bowl wideout Julio Jones is intended receiver. And that takes us from second to third down. They'll fake it. Now Tannehill. It's caught. Jones. This is too easy and right Into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Julio Jones. His second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys continue to pour it on. Well, partner, when a team's up this big, this late in the game, I always wonder, what's their motivation? Because if it's me, I'm thinking about pulling on the reins a little bit. But for them, I don't think it's in their DNA. It's not in their head coach's makeup at all. I think his opinion is, you stop us. We're not supposed to pull back ourselves. And it's up and good. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And the result in the end, a Titans touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. One final shot. They'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. Flag on the play. Yeah, yeah. That's a flag on the play.
I just dropped the bag on the tag. He ain't 